I love the irony behind making Google Maps intense. Guessing where I am on Google Maps, but in 0 0.1 seconds. Portugal. Nice. I have to play into the irony, I feel like, because it's like, uh, oh, this guy's a professional Google Maps player. I have to own that, right? That's like the most nerdy thing ever. I have to accept that this is not the most usual thing that you've ever seen. For a little more than a year, Trevor Rainbolt has been playing GeoGuessr, a trivia game powered by Google Maps. In it, you have to guess a location on the world using only a Google Street View image. Philippines. Nice. He's quickly gained a massive following on TikTok and Instagram because he's just so good at the game and so fast. Malaysia. Kurdistan. Our reporter Teddy Amenabar interviewed Trevor Rainbolt to figure out how he's able to do what he does. I started casually playing in high school, probably in 2016. It was like one of those games where it was just like back of the class activities. Um, and it was yeah. horrible. Like, I don't know. I didn't know anything about the world at all. I feel like that I'm like this type of person that once I start really doing anything, I have to like kind of get really good at it. And so I kind of just got addicted to it. And like I was spending every night studying or playing or everything. I mean, I don't even know if you'd consider GeoGuessr a video game. That's what I'm struggling with. Like, would, are you someone who considers yourself, who, who plays video games? I wouldn't really consider myself a gamer. Like, I'll play, like, party games here and there with friends, like Fall Guys or Fortnite No Build, but very much yeah. not, like, I'm not grinding Overwatch or can't wait for, like, the new, like, games or anything like that. Initially, when I first started, it was, like, I mean, the weekends, I'm talking eight to ten hours a day. I probably play every three, four hours a day now, just to stay consistent and then i was like okay i'm gonna make a tips video like how do i do this let's just make a top five ways to tell where you are on google maps number five is columbia if you see this cross which is actually called the columbian cross on the back of a sign that means you have to be in columbia that was january 1st and that i woke up the next morning i posted it at 1 a.m i woke up the next morning had like 400,000 views i'm like oh my god um and then just kind of snowballed from there Dirt and soil is like one of the first things you learn in the game. So it's like something that I have all, I, I, every single video I've posted, I'm using the soil regardless. Once you see the countries and their soil color and overall surrounding areas, what the general feel looks like, it's a trained eye type of thing. Could I describe to you why I think that looked like it was Nigerian soil? Probably not, but it just does. And it's just like that part of that like sixth sense that you pick up on when you play the game so much. Take the Northeast Brazil example of like that a reddish brown soil. This is very much Brazilian dirt. Um, Northeast Brazil, probably. Yep. There are other parts of the world that have reddish brown oxidized soil. Mm -hmm. so I, don't, I don't understand how you then get so, there instead of another part of the world. It's using the surrounding as well. Road lines, road conditions, what side of the road you drive on is really important. And learning your bollards, learning telephone poles, learning languages, learning architecture, and learning cars, license plates are massive. For the Northeast Brazil example, for example, I can see fences in the background. Those fences I know are common in Northeast Brazil. I know the soil is in Brazil. I confirm it that this is Northeast Brazil and not Cambodia because you don't get these fences in the back on Cambodia. Do photos ever repeat through the game? Or I mean, or if it does, is it really rare? So there's two maps that I play on. There's one called a community world and there's one called a diverse world. Memorizing 170,000 photos would be a lot more impressive than memorizing ways to tell what region you are in the world. There are obviously always going to be people who see viral videos like this saying, this seems fake or this is all an act. What do you say to people who are like, yeah. I don't trust that this is happening? Like, what, mm -hmm. what would you say to them? I like using the analogy. It's like a magician. To the magician, it's easy to see how it's done, how it's possible, but to the new player where they don't have any context or anything, any learnings on what's happening behind the scenes or how I'm making these educated guesses, I understand the skepticism. Because as a new player, I used to watch videos that were much lower level than what I'm playing right now. I'm like, there's no way. But understanding that there's magic, um, which is basically all the different ways that we study the game. Is this part of the reason you're speed running? Because by speed running, you're kind of eliminating the concern that you're hitting up Google or a Chrome extension to get the answer? Yeah, I think one, if I have to start making cuts in my videos, that adds to the sketchiness. Like I don't cut my videos. I, for the most part, like it's literally just 
record upload do i play like that in my free time 100 percent um do i lean into it more when i'm creating content 100 percent um but it's also just my play style you could use this skill in other industries national security i mean there's like legitimate industries where people want to see where a video came from and what the location was has that been a thought that goes through your head it's one of the most common questions like bro needs to work for the cia i think it's two completely different things i do think some of my my skill translates over into that but if you show me like a random field in russia it would be hard for me to distinguish it between maybe i would probably understand i would probably get it but it's a lot different than learning street view do you imagine you'll keep playing GeoGuessr for the foreseeable future? I know, I feel like it's such a privilege to have GeoGuessr, the game itself. You find such an appreciation for these different cultures and countries that you wouldn't really have had prior. The amount of people that I've probably got into geography off this is like, makes me so happy. I think someone said once, like, I'm making geography cool. I'm like, wow, that's like the highest tier compliment like I could have ever gotten. Is my brain gonna work the same in, you know, in 10 years, I hope? Will I be as good in 10 years? I hope, but who knows? Final round. No way. Nice. 21K. Not bad.